Hi, do you want to know what happens when you make a search for google.com in your web browser? Let's trace it out. When you make a search for www.google.com, your browser and your operating system will first determine if they know what the IP address is. So what's an IP address? The computers that make up the internet are set up in large networks that communicate with each other via underground or underwater cables and are identified using strings of numbers known as IP addresses. If your web browser and your operating system are unable to figure out what the IP address is, then they go ahead and perform a DNS lookup. I'll make a video on DNS right after I finish making this video and if you want to watch that video, then you must subscribe to my channel. Anyways, now that we have it, the web browser tries to make a request for that IP address. In this case, that is google.com, the IP address is 172.217.160.142. So I made a request for google.com and I've made a tracing of the entire route on my command prompt. So let's go ahead and have a look at it. So guys, now you're looking at my command prompt and I have used the trace RT command to trace the path of my data packet. Yeah, uh, to trace its path from source to destination. The source is my router here and the destination is Google server. And this is the IP address of Google server. And this over here is the IP address of my service provider, which happens to be BBNL and it is located in Bangalore. The next IP address is this and this IP address belongs to Tata Communications and this thing is located in Delhi. Now they're trying to, you know, make a request from Delhi to California. Let's see if it works out. No, it didn't work out. Something happened and request was timed out. So they had to redirect it to, to redirect to this IP address and this IP address again belongs to Tata Communications, but this time it is located in Pune. Now the next guess again, uh, probably they'll make a request direct to California. Let's see what happens. No, this is again a server in Maharashtra and from here. Yes, now they made a request to California directly, which means that Tata Communications has a direct link with uh, California and direct link with Google in fact, because Google is a service provider here. And this thing is located in a city called Mountain View and that's about it. Yeah, but this thing is not the Google server. Uh, this this is a different IP. The next uh, the next IP address, however, is the IP address of Google. Let's just copy this and let's paste it here. Actually, I've pasted it twice or thrice to verify. This is some third time verification. Mm -hmm. Yep, this uh, this thing works. So, uh, what it means is our packet has reached the Google server. This is the Google server. So mission successful. Previously, we saw how uh, our data packet was redirected to different servers. So physically, how did this work? Basically, there are two types of companies, tier one company and tier two company. Uh, both of these are internet providers and tier one company provide internet connection to main servers. Uh, one of the main servers of India is, pro is present in Mumbai and apparently Tata communication happens to be a tier one company. This means that Tata communication is responsible for providing internet connection to the main server of Mumbai and tier two companies take internet connection from tier one companies and they provide it to consumers. So now that you know what tier one and tier two companies are, you'll be wondering what these uh, colorful lines represent all these lines extending all over the world. So they're actually optical fibers. Optical fibers means uh, they carry light, all right? Now these optical fibers are laid down on the seabed, nice and gentle, just like this, this one here. This is just an example, uh, wherein you can see little strands present within the optical fiber. Each of these strands is only as thick as human hair and uh, each of these strands can carry a bandwidth an internet bandwidth of up to 100 Gbps. That is insane, really insane. As you can see here, this worker is doing some maintenance work. Uh, these wires usually need uh, maintenance for uh, every 25 years or so. Getting work done around these wires is usually very, very expensive. Here again, uh, these people are doing good job of laying down optical fibers beneath the sea. And that's how you're able to see my video and 
probably that is how you'll be subscribing to my channel. All right? Don't forget to subscribe. That's what I mean.